with 6 News at 11. History is made at Lansing Community College as an all-women class of paramedics graduates and at a time when it's all hands on deck. It's our top story tonight at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. It's been an exciting night for the friends, family, and those graduating, of course, from LCC's EMS program, including the school's first class made up entirely of women. Yes, the six women celebrated with other EMS graduates as agencies around the state and country need more trained lifesavers. Josh Sanchez spent time at the ceremony and joins us now. Josh? Sherry Javon tonight was filled with smiles and tears at LCC's downtown campus as a chapter filled with hard work came to a close for more than a dozen students in the EMS program. One graduate I spoke to says the feeling of crossing the finish line is surreal, but she's ready to hit the ground running. When you're in it, you're just in it, and a lot of I think our focus is just to get through what we're getting through, and not until we get out of it and get a chance to breathe do we realize how monumental this way. Sharnay Gloss was one of more than a dozen students that graduated as paramedics from Lansing Community College EMS program. She's also with the Lansing Fire Department, which supported her in getting her paramedic training. She joined the line of graduates that included six students who made up the program's all-woman part-time class. Both instructors and college leaders acknowledged the hard work and sacrifice students had made, especially the all-woman class, who balanced work, school and home. As the lead instructor, Angela Cole, knew the struggle well. They are a very gifted group of young women who not only worked um, in the field while going through their program, but also many of them have families and um, had to attend to their needs too, all the while putting in the work to become paramedics, which is not easy. The milestone at LCC comes at a critical time for staffing in the EMS field. Angela Madden, the executive director of the Michigan Association of Ambulance Services, says last year 1,000 job openings were left unfilled in both the EMT and paramedic level. She says working conditions, work-life balance, and longer shifts are driving the shortage, but improving wages, offering training, and child care incentives could help bring in more students. With more graduates, Madden says the situation could turn around. It's starting to trend in the right direction, but we have not yet completed our mission. We still need more people to take up EMS as a career and as a profession. Madden says milestones like today's LCC graduation is a big step in both creating representation and role models for other people interested in joining the field. Sherry, Siobhan. Thank you, Josh. Speaking of health,